This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. What's your hiring areas? Um, okay, we hire in all 48 states, but we have we have uh, drop yards in certain areas and distribution centers in certain areas that depending on what position you're wanting, sometimes you have to live within a 100-mile radius. Other times it doesn't matter. It depends on kind of what you're looking for, too. How much experience do you guys require? We need to have 12 months recent. Mileage rate coming in? It depends on the position. We have several positions. Ballpark? You got to tell me what area you're looking for because sometimes we have weekly home time with um, multiple drops pulling furniture. Sometimes we have OTR um, where there's no touch freight. Sometimes the driver unloads. So we have multiple different types of, of openings. Who are you okay with unloading furniture from the nose of the truck to the back of the truck with a furniture dolly? If the price is right, yeah. Okay, so if you go in anywhere in the north, um, in the north region, like um, let's say Romulus, Michigan, or um, Monticello, Minnesota, uh, Toledo, Ohio, you know, um, those, those states up there, we've got positions right now. Um, the drivers are averaging a little over $2,000 a week, which is $108,000 a year. Um, and all they're doing is, is uh, they're physically pulling the furniture from the nose of the trailer to the back with a furniture dolly. And they are home weekly. You leave out on a Sunday or Monday and get back on a Friday or Saturday. So that's like what right. salary or what's the breakdown in 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 pay like per mile? They get and... paid. They get paid by the day, which is one hundred sixty-seven dollars a day. They also get paid by however many drops is on the truck. So it could be anywhere from five to seven stops. Um, that's usually anywhere from like one hundred and ninety to two hundred and twenty-five extra. And then if you drive over 381 miles in a day for that position, you get additional mileage pay at 46 cents a mile. The second area that um, is, is highly paid for that would be out of the south. So out of the south, we have a big distribution center in Acre, Mississippi. And um, those drivers um, for that same position we talked about, they're averaging about eighteen ninety a week, which is about 98000 a year. So Acre, Mississippi is um, a spot where we really are needing drivers. Um, if you don't want to unload furniture there, um, then we have the same position, same type of stops and everything, and they're averaging about 1400 a week. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? After it's past five years. Drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? Pre-employment is urine. What are your hiring areas? We are at Laredo, Texas. In fact, we are uh, hiring only people who is living here at Laredo, Texas. How much experience do you guys require? At least two years of experience with your CDL uh, rolling to all states of the United States. Mileage pay coming in. It is um, uh, 52 uh, load and 42 empty. You say 52 loaded and 40... Loaded, yes. And 42... 42 uh, empty. Empty. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, okay. Uh, well, we try uh, our drivers be clean. So for this reason, we always ask them if uh, they have been in a in a um, program of drugs before and if they if they are would you guys would you guys give them the opportunity to drive for you or no it is less the opportunity they could have needed a what now for this reason i ask you if you have been in a in a program of drugs what well, no my question is if the guys are in the fmcsa sap program and they need help with the return to duty status would you guys be okay, able to uh, help? Okay, let me ask in order to tell. Wait, because I don't have this information, uh, but but I'm going to ask and I and I tell you. Wait a moment, please. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We've had people in the RTD program. 
honesty. It's really based on your experience. If you've had any accidents, we look at a full record. So there's very, there's a lot of factors that can affect your hiring. It's really based on your PSP, your preamps, which we do your verifications and how you're doing with your RTD program. Obviously, if you've never started your RTD program, we won't take on the the responsibility. Like if you are in the process of it, we're willing to hire you. But there's other factors in play here. Drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? Um, It's really based up to the clinic. Uh, We don't ask the clinic those questions. We basically rely on them to do the testing they need. You guys are only hiring out of Laredo, Texas as of right now, right? We hire in Texas in general. Out of state is what we don't hire, really because we need you to be in Texas. We do have people from Crystal City. We do have people from Eagle Pass. We have people from San Antonio. You know, we have them from around the area. Texas is is permitted. Outside of Texas, we're not looking to hire because home base is in Laredo, Texas. What are your hiring areas? Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland, New York City, or or New England, Owasso, Oklahoma, and Dallas, Texas. How much experience are you guys looking for? We've got to have 24 months behind the wheel. Mileage pay coming in. Um... Well, if you stay out two weeks at a time, it's twenty six to twenty eight hundred miles a week at fifty two cents a mile. Once you hit five years of experience counting your time with us, you would go to fifty seven cents a mile. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not, man. Our insurance won't let us touch them. For drug screening? Is it urine or hair follicles or both? It's urine. What's your hiring areas? We like you live right around Michigan. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, we like at least a year over the road. Experience is helpful. What's the mileage rate coming in? Depends how much experience you have. Um, it's going to be between 55 to 59 cents a mile. It would be helpful if you got reefer experience also, so that would come into play. So, Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, we do not. Drug screening? Is it urine or hair follicles or both? Both. Do you guys train people that don't have experience in flatbed? We do. It would be two weeks of training, and that training would be paid $1,100 per week. What are you guys hiring areas? So we hire most between I-35 and I-95. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do if you've completed all follow-up testing. I know you just mentioned that for us that don't have experience with flatbedding, You'll train us, but how much experience are you guys looking all together? We don't have a minimum experience requirement. So the training is 1100 a week. After the training, what will be my mileage pay after that? So it depends on previous OTR experience. So with two years, you'd be looking at 60 cents per mile. Would that be 60 cents per mile plus tarp pay and all that other good stuff that comes with it? Yes. The drug screening process, is it urine or hair follicles or both? We do urine and mouth swab. All right, there you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next? Next, next, next.